Hey students, welcome to another interesting video. So today I'm going to discuss the NCRT question from the chapter Understanding Quadrilaterals, exercise 3.3, question number 5. So let's take a look. So the measure of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Find the measure of each of the angles of a parallelogram. So let's make a parallelogram first. So here we have this parallelogram ABCD. So angle A, angle B, these are the four angles that we have marked here. Measure of two adjacent angles. Adjacent means the neighboring ones. It could be AB, it could be angle B and C, it could be angle C and D or angle D and A, any pair. Are in the ratio 3 is to 2, we have to find out the measure of each of the angles. Since ratio is not the exact number, let's assume here that the measure of two adjacent angles, let's say angle A and angle B be 3x and 2x, right? We know that since these are adjacent angles, these lines are parallel over here, right? And this is a transversal. So sum of angles over here, angle A and angle B is going to be 180 degree. That would be supplementary, right? Let's put these values here. 3x plus 2x equals to 180 degree. You get 5x equals to 180 degree. So x is going to be equals to 36 degree. But I need the exact value of the angles. So this is 3x. Let's put the value of x here. That's going to be 3 times 36 degree. Similarly here as well. So that's going to be 3 times 36 degree. That's 180 8 degree. So measure of angle A is 108 degree and opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So this is also going to be equal to 108 degree. Angle A and angle C are equal. Similarly, 2 times x, that's 2 times 36 degree, which is 72 degree. If this is 72 degrees, this is also 72 degrees. Angle B and D, because they are the opposite angles of a parallelogram. So we can say that we have the measure of all the angles of the parallelogram here. Now do leave a comment for me in the comment section how you like this video.